all the times that like I was there for him in his corner when he needed it and then in my time of need he couldn't even be there like that's just anytime you work somebody too good it seems like they almost get mad exactly exactly like I, I think that's kind of lame and it's not my fault look it's not our fault we're not trying to work the boys but they get worked oh well well, speaking of that, uh, Big Murph. Any Big Murph news? Because he works for um, a lot. I did add him on Snapchat. Mm -hmm. And he does have deals. TKW versus FU. It finally happened. It That's finally right. Happened. Who had the date first? Did they run against each other? Was it intentional or not intentional? Yes. That's the question of the day. That is the question. And... We I got, feel like we might know the answer. We got that. the answer. Let him know. Out of all the eyeballs that watch you, mine will not be there that day. God, if I got tagged, I would feel so <laughs> fucking shitty. We oh. did not get to partake in all that fun drama because we were too busy missing a UPW show. Yeah. So I so, like to call this the car ride from hell. Me too. <laughs> Wisconsin was shitty. And we ended up getting stuck in Wisconsin. Yeah, the worst fucking state ever. Three Jesus hours Christ. from the show, I believe. I thought it was four hours. Either way, it was far as far. Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god. So there's four dudes surrounded by this one chick who's fixing this tire, right? And fucking this crackhead pants down to his knees, right? Just down to his knees. No belt. Walks up to us and says, hey, uh, can I, can I get a ride? <laughs> We're fixing our car. Everyone's in a bad mood. But we found out that apparently in Milwaukee, there's a gang issue. <laughs> yeah. So we got to watch the police crack down on one of the elite Wisconsin gangs. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they said the gang just got caught today, actually. Yeah, just <laughs> actually, got, they're like, right over there. <laughs> he pointed it to us in every. This is true. This is real story. Like, for real. Okay. If you take pictures, it's one thing. But if you're a fan that, like, doesn't really... Like, you just go to the shows, and you're posting and, like, tagging wrestlers, talking about you're wrestled out. It, it doesn't really track with me. No, like, sometimes fans, they need to have a break from wrestling, and sometimes they gotta post it on Facebook to let everybody know that they're having a break from wrestling. Sometimes, you know, the fans, they have a really hard job. They have to sit there and watch the show. All right, fucking. You want to talk about her foot getting stabbed? No, no, no. Let's let's not let's not jump the gun, brother. Let's so uh, I've been planning to leave Cobra Kai for three months ever <laughs> since I broke my ankle. I've been what? Planning, I've been planning this for a really long time, and the kicker is LJ has no idea that it's coming. And honestly, it's kind of funny because like he'll hug me, he'll talk about how it's great to have me back, but he has no idea that. In like maybe 12 hours, I'm going to stab his ass right in the back just so I can get a better opportunity. It is what it is, honestly. Just the ref asked me to bring this up. She's been training for six years, and she wanted to know our opinion on that. My opinion is she should just go get trained by Gio Bronco so she can get trained real quick. She got the first match real fast. Yours? What's your opinion? Did you have one? Oh, yeah, we did promise Pro Wrestling Edge match when we, 30. Match 30, we do a death match. We, we actually, we will have to do death match things in it. And he asked me, he's like, can I pick your nose? I said, no. He said, right, your ear. And I'm like, be my guest. So this guy, I'm thinking he's going to work it. This is the ear hole, right? I'm thinking it'll go like this. No, this motherfucker sticks his finger all the way in the ear, digs in it, eats it, the crowd, you know, reacts you don't actually have to eat people's earwax and boogers. You know, what's next? Their ass? Like, what? I, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. So I decided to create a new a new segment. Oh, God. And it's called the Jack Price Biggest Dick of the Week Award. <laughs> We're killing the business. 